see. Um, hope everybody had a good weekend. I um, was very busy working on my <laughs> dollhouse renovation, as you can maybe tell from some of the pictures on my feet. Um, in any case, I thought this morning we would um, do a Thanksgiving tea tin. So in my unboxing, I just showed you these tea tins that Stampin' Up! has. Um, they're actually in the annual catalog. Sorry, let me make sure you can see me before I keep talking. Okay, perfect. Um, they're actually in the annual catalog, not the holiday catalog, but they coordinate so well with things. Well, so much that's in the holiday catalog. So I thought we would do some crafting with that. Um, they come in sets of four. Um, so you get four of these cute little tea tins. Um, and what do I do with my... They measure three and a half by two by uh, probably about four with the lid on. Let's see. Mm, probably, I don't know, just no. Just over three and a half even with the lid on. Um, and yeah, they're, they're quite cute. Um, so I thought we would make a little gift with this. Um, we're going to use the Day of Thanks Cling Stamp Set. And I thought I'd try playing with this turkey. I did not buy this set for this turkey, but I thought, hey, let's let's have a play with it and see how things go. And then um, also we're also going to use the Country Home Photopolymer stamp set. This is in the annual catalog. This is from the holiday catalog. Um, I wanted to use a So Grateful for Someone Like You in My Life stamp. Um, that'd be a cute little gift. Okay. So, and then I also have these brightly gleaming foil elements, which are also in the holiday catalog, and they have some leaves cut out, which I thought could go well, kind of under with the, they obviously go with the tea tin, but under our turkey. Um, and I thought we would play with this pigment ink. Now, I've never used it before, so my idea may or may not work. Okay. So we're gonna try it, water-based, so it should work. Um, Cause I wanna stamp our turkey in the copper and then we're gonna try coloring with Stampin' Blends. Um, this is water-based, this is alcohol, so hopefully that works and it don't mess it up. Um, and then we're gonna use some of our pretty peacock um, scallop trim ribbon. This is from the annual catalog and our die I've pre-cut a couple of these out already. I'm um, just I'm not dragging my big shot on camera um, to put on top here and we're gonna stamp our sentiment on this and then throw the turkey kind of on top of it I think. Um, and so here's the die. This again this is from the Rose Wonders dies. And then our come come to gather suite. Um, our designer series paper. So I cut out a strip already. So this strip measures 12 inches by 3.5 inches. If you're switching up the paper, um, make sure that your pattern is running up the 3.5 inch side because that's the side that we'll be wrapping it with. What I wanted to try doing is, and if it doesn't work, I will cover it in the back when I glue it. Um, use my blends. I want to add some extra color into this paper. Just see what I think about it. So I picked out my um, pumpkin pie blends. So I'm going to start. I'm just going to color this pumpkin here on the edge. That way if I don't like it, I think I can probably just cover it when I um, glue it. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and color this in with my blend here. I'm just going to do half. I should have done the other half. I think that's actually a really nice look. Let's add some dark up on the bottom. And a little more. Oh, I think that would be lovely. It just makes it pop a little bit more. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to quickly color in my pumpkins here. You don't have to do them all, I suppose. Just, I'm going to leave my lids off because that will be faster. Just do this real quick. Hopefully. Let's start in the middle. Okay. okay. 
So I also have to put some information about my shares up. I will start taking payments on August, I think I said 29th. Um, maybe I said the 28th. Um, about a week before I can purchase them for you. So check that information out if you're just looking for um, a few holiday supplies for a good price without needing to worry about storing stuff or wanting to keep papers for later. It's a, a good way to get a bunch of product for a really good amount of money. They're all just about 20. I just let out a little bit. So I'm just using my color lifter to try and get that orange out off the edge here. Okay. Um, so the paper shares, yeah, they're a good way to get, not paper shares, sorry, sweet shares. That's what I meant to say. If I said something else initially, there are my sweet shares. I'm not doing product shares. I'm doing sweet shares. So you get a little bit of each part of a suite along with some coordinating cardstock. And if there's other embellishments that I thought went well with that suite, I've added those in as well. So I put information up about um, Thanksgiving and Halloween. I will add the Christmas winter ones this week um, so you can check those out and then yeah the first order is going to go in I think September 5th sorry no, that's bleeding but I think we're we'll probably able to cover that up okay. um, well yeah the first order will go in September 5th that way you guys will have it in time for your Thanksgiving and Halloween crafting. And that's the only um, share that I'm going to be doing for those. The Christmas ones, I will do an uh, early one and then I'll also do a, a one in October as well. Yeah, I'm just going to add color to these pumpkins just to make them pop out here. I'll just do the ones that are in the front um, more, not so much worry about the back ones and then just, cause, just for time's sake right now. Time is also running out if you're looking at getting the starter kit. It only goes to the special. It only goes, I think, to the end of August. I have a check. I need to remember that date. Um, so, yeah, if you're thinking about getting the starter kit, don't miss out because it's a really good deal. Right now. So I start with my light, that's how I like to do it, and then do my dark and then come back in and just add a little bit more light to blend it in a little bit. You can also use the color lifter to take some color out of the center if you want even more definition to it. Let's do this one here. Okay, now I'm just going to check and see if I wanted to wrap it. Okay. So there we go. So I have some that kind of wrap, go continue along to the side and then be on, around the back. If I was doing this just for myself, I'd probably just keep going with the orange and finish it all 
um, now, but because I'm doing this on camera and I don't want to take up too much of your time, I am going to stop there for this part. Um, so, and so anyhow, when we put this on, this is I'm just going to wrap it around and throw some glue on the back. Um, yeah, so I've done it at three and a half. I might trim it down a tiny bit more. Um, so the lid goes on a little bit easier. I'll probably make it trim it down to three. Um, just take some off the bottom and then we'll stick it on. So you're gonna yeah, so cut this to 12 by three. That's a better, better measurement if you're doing a whole bunch of them anyways, that you're just gonna you're gonna save paper. Um, so well, I'm just gonna cut this down to three. So I cut it down to three, so then you don't have to worry about the lid. And then you can just, you can wrap it with the lid on, like that. Okay, and then you can get four strips out of one sheet of paper. Okay, so now, you know what, let's go ahead and put this on our box. Where's my glue? Okay, I didn't score this. I'm just kind of shaping it by hand. I don't really want to score it. You could score it if you wanted to. You could also use tear and tape if you don't like liquid glue. So we have our tea tin with our pumpkins. Okay, and now let's do our. So this will probably we can gonna cover up a good bit. I guess it's just the way it's working out right now. You can play around with your paper and kind of figure it out if you don't want um, like the big pumpkin covered up. But it's okay that we built it. Or you could even color it once it's already on here, and then you know exactly what you're going to be seeing, which might have been a smarter thing for me to do. Let's just wrap it and then color it. Okay, so that's going to end up going on there like that with scallop ribbon. Let me just see if I can pull that to the side a little bit because I want it to Once I have this on, I'm going to play around with that a little bit more. Trim that down. Um, and then we'll have our bow sticking up. Or you know what? Maybe we'll, I'm actually going to do is slide this up a little bit. So that. Yeah, let's slide that up closer to the top. So it'll be on the top of our thing here. There we go. That's better. I might need to double knot that. We'll figure that out in a second. I still haven't found my fabric scissors. They are hiding somewhere. Okay. So what that'll do. And then once we stamp that, we're gonna stick that on. Alright, let's do our turkey. Okay, copper ink. Oh, you know what? We have our leaves. Here, let's pull some of these out.
One, you could do two, you could do three. <laughs> what would probably be kind of cool would be stick that up there under my turkey. Okay, is that still on screen for you guys? Okay. Um, there's four in a pack, like four on a sheet. So I either do one or two, and then add another embellishment onto it. Maybe like a fussy cut feather or something. If I wanted that under the under the turkey, we can maybe do that. Okay, where? Okay, so let's let's stamp our turkey for now. Here we go. Copper ink. All right. Let's see. What are we gonna do? Looks pretty shimmery on here. Is quite shimmery. It's such a fine image, so it's. Where's my stamp? Alright, I'm going to do it one more time. Get really inked up. Let's just compare them. I'll just them side by side. Alrighty. That one's a little bit better. That's a little darker. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer. have a good bit of, of shimmer to it. Hmm. It's very subtle. I think because the stamp is so fine. I'm just going to stamp it again. Curiosity. Okay. Yeah, the stamp's like, you can see, definitely see it on the stamp itself. Okay. Alright, so there's our copper turkey. I'm gonna go with go with this one. I think I like them both for different reasons. We're gonna go with this one. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna use my blends. How do we color? I guess I need red though, right? For the well, actually, I don't even see the little neck thingy. Um, okay, I have no idea how to. We have wild turkeys, but they're not colorful. But I kind of want to give it like a colorful. So here are my colors. What are we going to do? Let's do the peacock, the dark peacock on the outside. Oh, that was light. Okay. I'll keep going with the light then. I'm going to use the finer one. color over it and just see what happens. What a cool effect. It's pretty neat coloring over it. Let's the brush to get better. Use coloring over in the light and then blend some of the dark mint macaron. So I just picked the coordinating colors from the paper here to do. Here's the oops, let's use your hand. Here's the light. They 
I'll do down here. Dark. Yes. Some down here too. Oh, it's foot. Okay. So it just is giving it a bit of a. You can still see some of the copper through it, and then it gives it like this coppery, shimmery look underneath, like a watercolory. here somewhere. Well, I guess we can do it with beak, right? Well, that's probably more red, but we'll do it with beak. And then let's throw just a little bit of orange in here. Obviously, it's not real to life, it's just so I'm just blending the orange in a little bit more. So I'm gonna... oh. Where's my color lifter? A little bit of an oops there. Maybe just use a marker to do the beak, it's a little bit too fine. Mind you, we're gonna fussy cut it out. Okay, I'm not gonna stress about that too much. And they have like more of a white head, don't they? With their little red. Let's do what I have here. Cherry cobbler. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna just throw. I'm gonna throw. There's a starker light. Light. Okay. Just gonna throw some. Let's pretend this is its little thing. So there's our turkey with our blends and our copper shimmer paint. So it's got like a bit of a sheen to it and like a water. Oh, can you see that? It almost like, looks like the, the inside of a clamshell or abalone or whatever. It's quite shimmery, which is nice. So I'm going to fussy cut it out. So this isn't obvious, obviously isn't something that I would do for everybody I'm going to be giving something to on Thanksgiving. But it would be nice for like a teacher gift or just a special someone. If you wanted to do this for everybody, I would just, just stamping it and not coloring it and then you could do the same thing. 
you even just you could stamp it in copper on um, maybe like pretty peacock cardstock. I'm just fussy cutting out. A fun little thing. Okay, I really like how this is looking. little turkey on our box and see so the other what I was thinking let's see. So we also add this feather into it and just grab a looking at my pumpkin pie ink pad I'm trying to remember why I pulled it out Um, so if you had, this set actually comes with the wooden elements, and that has feathers in it, which would be lovely to add here right now. I do not have one yet, but it would be really nice to stick on there. So I'm going to stamp a feather, and... that dry and then I'll decide. I'll just change this color slightly. Okay, so I'm going to leave this to the block. Stay there for a second. Where is... Here we go. Um, do it in copper or in pretty peacock. I did cut two, so maybe we'll do one of each and see what we think. Let's 
is a new stamp. So do it and where's the other one hiding? I have it two cut. Huh. Alright, oh, here it is. I'm not good at all. Did we try it in copper? What do we think in copper? That's kind of cool. And it also picked up a little bit of a glue because I didn't wash my stamp off completely before I tried it. I should really like that. Well, that's pretty too. Which one do we like better? Have that. That's more intense. And then we have the copper. Let's throw in our feather and then maybe we'll decide. So. Okay, so I'm just going to fussy cut out this feather. I don't think I like that for various reasons. So I kind of stuck it on the bottom. Let's stick it in now. I don't think I like the feather. It's just not behind the turkey. On its own, maybe. Or going like this way, maybe. I just need to turn it around. I like it without. Hmm. Play around with this for a second and then decide. Should I like it like that, kind of underneath the bow? I need to put them coming up instead of going down. I might just take it off. I like it going that way. I don't mind it going that way at all. That looks a little bit better. There's, so there's with that, the PP cock, and then we'll have it with the copper. Alright, I think I like it with the copper better. It's a little bit more subtle. It's not like screaming at me. Okay. So let's put this together. So we have our bow tied, and we have our 
stuff. All right, so glue. And pop the um, pop the turkey up a little bit. Did we have these? Did we have these up or down? Oh, I forget. Have the feather up and the leaves down. Use some dimensionals on our turkey. I'm gonna use my mini ones because those are handy right now. But I could just use regular size ones. So let's want to use dimensionals on that too. Let's see if I can find my bigger ones. Nope, they won't hide. All right, I'll we'll just use the ones. Actually, you know what? I can use the strip around the outside. Yeah, always make sure you use your strips. Don't waste them. They come in very handy. straight. I think so. And we're done. There it is. So there is our copper tea tin. I'm going to hold this so you can see it and get it to shine. It's actually quite lovely. It's hard to get to get it to shine. If I shine it like at the light, you guys can see the shimmer in it our bow and our leaves. It's really pretty. Make sure it is. Okay, I think you can see that on the camera. I'll hold it still. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching this, watching the replay. If you have any questions about any of the products I use, feel free to send me a message, but they are all available through my online shop. Um, the links are on my website, Facebook, um, up at the top, you can click, click the shop now button to get there. If you're interested in a sweet share for this stuff, this is also, um, the information for that is also up on my Facebook. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.